Hey, Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how did I achieve this foxy eye look for mature girls. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider to subscribe to my channel and ring the post notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new videos. Also, come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see all the details on how to create this Bella Hadid Kendall Jenner inspired look, then just keep on watching. So here it is to my attempt to do a foxy eye look inspired by Bella Hadid or Kendall Jenner chill. This look has gone viral. I mean, everybody wants to have the beautiful foxy cat eye look from these models. And if you are a person like me that you're in your 40s or that you just have hooded eyes, a lot of folds, I think well, let's just get together, play with some makeup that we perhaps already have in our collection and let's try to replicate it without, and I'm not saying that either Bella or Kendall, they have necessarily have done some type of surgery or procedure, but we have seen a lot of buzz about that eye thread lifting or lift and it seems painful. I don't know if you have seen it. I'm kind of disturbing. I'm going to put a picture right here. So cross your eyes if you are like ew like me like what are they doing um but i mean there's different ways to achieve that look i think without necessarily going to a procedure i mean for some people maybe harder than others but we can kind of replicate it with a little bit of the help of makeup and i think for those of us that we are makeup lovers we can try right we can try and see how that goes also there's people that have then also Botox, and Botox helps to kind of like, you know, create some tension on your muscles, so these are right here kind of lift up too. But let's just try some more accessible methods right here, and let's see how this looks. And I also want to replicate a little bit of the look of at least Kendall Jenner and Bella Hadid, because they usually look very natural, not much makeup, very simplistic, but yet a little bit glowy, but again, very, very youthful and natural. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to contour before I start doing my full face of foundation. But to achieve a little bit of that glow, I'm going to go ahead and use my Farsali Liquid Glass Radiance Makeup Skin Serum. And this gives a very nice subtle glow to the skin without being too much and it's very lightweight because it's super liquidy. So I'm just going to use a few drops of that and I'm just going to put it on the perimeters of my face. Now, if you have been following me for a certain point in time, you know that I have enlarged pores right here on this area. So for that, I'm going to be using my Tatcha Silk Canvas. And again, I'm just going to use it right here where I need that extra help. And some right here. And now to contour before I apply foundation, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Tantour in Fair. And this will give me more of like a natural chisel look. Now this product is a hybrid between a bronzer and a contour. What I like about it too is that it's not too grayish in tone. It's just very neutral. Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. And I'm going to spread the foundation without disturbing the contour. Definitely for this look, I recommend a foundation like the Anastasia one because it's not full, full coverage. It has a little bit of luminosity and it's very lightweight. So it will give you a very natural, soft look. For the eyes, Pat McGrath Concealer. And here starts a little bit of the trick. 
by start lifting up the eyes with the concealer and bringing the concealer a little bit closer to the outer corner of your eye. So right now from this droopy eye, as you can see right here, I do have some discoloration on this side. I'm just starting to, again, do the trick of lifting up the eye and taking the concealer all the way to the back. To set the concealer, Pat McGrath Eye Setting Powder in light. And this is gonna brighten up my under eye area. I'm gonna chisel out a little bit more my face and I'm gonna be using Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. And I'm just gonna use the sculpting powder and go over that same area where I apply the Huda Beauty Contour Bronzer. And I'm gonna put the powder right here on my eyelid all the way to the back. Starting from here, and I'm just gonna lift it up. This will create a lifting effect to your eyes, and I think you start seeing it right now. Now we're gonna work on the eyebrows. And for eyebrows, I have seen that people shave their brows because the brows, if you take a close peek to, say, Bella Hadid or Kendall Jenner, their brows, they don't go like, like mine up and then down, they don't have that curve. They just go a little bit more straight and a little bit more up, like something like this instead. And honestly, I don't think that you need to shave your brows. I'm not gonna shave my brows. I, in fact, do not even pluck my brows. I don't wax them because I have the worst reaction on my skin if I do so. It gets red and it can pass three, four months with that redness and I get a lot of bumps around it. So I learned to use my brows the way they are and just work with whatever I have. And we're gonna be doing the same thing today. I basically, I'm gonna be using the same brow pencil that I usually do and I'm gonna shape my brows with my 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. And to do so, if you have as much brow hair as I do, then you just need to kind of like reshape them in a way that they don't go down, but just try to keep them up as much as you can. And then you're gonna draw kind of the same way, going a little bit more up instead of doing that curve down. I'm just filling the gaps as per usual. And from here, instead of doing that, the regular type of like peak and then going down, just gonna try to do a straight line. As you can tell, my brows, they still go down, but I'm trying to do not do anything to bring the brows down, but actually to get them up. And then I'm brushing them against the way that they actually grow so that I can reshape the brows the way that I want them to be. And I think you can see right there how I'm lifting up my brows. So now when you have them the way that you want them to be, you go for your brow setter. I mean, any gel will be good, but I have a lot of faith on this one because it really makes the brows stay put the way you want them and also it's not crunchy or itchy. I find out that some gels, they are just, I don't know why, but they just feel crunchy or itchy and they don't even look good, but use whatever you have on hand. So now I want to apply a little bit of bronzer here, close to my lash line, and for that I'm going to be using a cold classic bronzer, and I'm talking about Hula by Benefit. Now this same bronzer, let's just take it a little bit outside and kind of extend it. If you notice from these looks, they don't usually use any type of eyeshadow near to the eyebrows, they just keep it all the way down. Now if you look at straight, you will see that 
by putting the bronzer right here too, you're just, again, lifting up this area. Next, I'm gonna jump into my Tati Beauty palette and I'm gonna go into the matte shade Sooth right here. And for that, I'm gonna be using my Sonia G Mini Booster Brush. For this type of look, you really need to work with detail brushes. And I'm just gonna apply it close to the lash line. Next, I'm gonna go to the shade Ritual with the same brush. And I'm just gonna dip it out a little bit in my outer V. With a fluffy brush, I'm gonna go to the shade Aura and then Soothe. And I'm just gonna blend right here. Now we're gonna go into eyeliner, and for that, I'm gonna be using Nars Mumble. I'm gonna start lining at one third from my outer V. And then a very small triangle and then from there I'm going to start drawing my wing. Don't do it too high up but you want to do it on this direction. I'm going to take the eyeliner and get it very 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 close to my lash line. And now with a flat definer from Sonia G I'm going to go into this shade right here Ritual and I want to take this eyeshadow and place it right here on top of that liner and kind of smoke out a little bit my lash line. Again, everything is staying very tight, very compact, very close to the lash line. Sooth Metallic E47 brush from Sigma. And I'm placing this eyeshadow very, very tight to the lash line. Now the next step is to extend the tear duct area of our eyes. For that, you're going to need a liquid eyeliner. I'm going to use this one by Pat McGrath. And literally, you're just going to follow the same lines as a fox. I'm going to put a fox right here. And you, if you can see, the fox has a black line on the inner duct going downward. Now that you're done with that part, you're going to go back to your brown eyeliner and you're going to start to do a little bit of a waterline that is just more soft, not too heavy. So now into lashes. What is extremely important about the lashes is that you just focus on the outer portion of your eyelashes to be fan out and just open them up as much as possible make it as longer as possible from this area right here and this area right here so you're going to coat it maybe just once right here without making them too straight up and that's the same reason why i'm not using a curler too for this step i'm gonna grab my fenty beauty mascara so first i'm gonna go with a very light coat and i'm gonna stand them sideways not up, not in, but sideways. And now I'm just going to focus right here on the ends. Another important thing about this look is that you don't need to put any mascara on your lower lashes. Now another tip right here is that if you have trouble with your tip of your lashes you can use falsies and do not use the whole thing of falsies basically you just want to have some falsies that they are very flutter up and you just want to use like a fourth or a third of the lash and just place it at the very very end so your lashes will go this way now that i'm done with my eyes i'm gonna jump into highlighter I want a highlighter that is not too strong, too beaming, too much. I just want something very subtle. So I'm gonna go back to this Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, and I'm gonna use this highlighter right here. I'm gonna go ahead and buff it. And again, just taking everything upwards. You wanna use a little on the middle of your nose, and on the tip of the nose. I'm going to be using a little bit of that highlighter and putting it right here by my brow going upwards. 
And now for blush, I want something very soft, very subtle. And for that, I'm going to be using Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek in the shade Pillow Talk. And I'm going to be placing it not on the apples of the cheeks because age and gravity, my apples on my cheeks, they are already a little bit more down. I want to place it high up right here on this bone, right on the bone, and then just taking it up. And whatever is left on the brush, I'm going to be using it right here on my eyelids. Another characteristic of this look is the lips. The lips are not very pronounced. They are very nude, very soft. And for that, I'm going to be using MAC Lip Liner in Oak. And I'm filling in the inner portions of my lips. Hepburn Honey from Charlotte Tilbury. Now another thing that is important right here is to create a aura, kind of like a glow to your skin. And for that you can use any glow finishing powder. I just try one from e.l.f. that is really good. I love the ones from Guerlain. There's one from Nabla. There's also the skin finishes from MAC. For this case, I'm going to be using the one from Jaclyn Hill and this is in the shade Brighten Up. You want to use an open type of brush, really fluffy one. And you can start buffing your face. This will also soften up any hard edges that you may have. Now, if you want to achieve a little bit more of an impressive, foxy look, what you can do is work with your hair. So basically, you can just put your hair up right here, and you take these side pieces from here, and then you lift it up. And you see right there, immediately as you do that, your full face and eyes, they go up. And I'm just going to put it up and clip it. And I'm going to work with these pieces of hair right here. And I'm just going to go up, such. You see right there? And I go for a nice piece. And up we go. And then you can just use any kind of like clear tie. Now to extra secure it, I'm just going to use some bobby pins. I ended up putting my hair up on a ponytail just to create that extra lifting effect with that trick that I said, two strands right here, putting it up really tight. And again, I mean, without having to go to a surgeon and, you know, have a procedure right here. And I'm not saying that either Kendall Jenner or Bella Hadid or, you know, X model has done a surgery. I'm not on the ear skin. I don't know them personally. I cannot assess that or anything like that, but I'm just trying to replicate and on my idea, a take on the foxy look. And I hope that I was able to achieve it. By the way, I will be leaving all the products that I use today on the description box below. I will love to read your comments. So let me know what you think about this trend. Do you like the way that I achieved this look, did I do so-so or I did well? Let's just start the conversation out there. Also, if you have some tips and tricks to this look, leave them in the comments because here we're family and we want to help each other. If you haven't done so yet, do not wait too long. I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel. Also, ring the post notification bell because that's the only way YouTube will let you know whenever I upload new videos. It would be lovely if you come and follow me on my Instagram. I would also love to grow my family there. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also share with somebody else that may like these type of videos. All of that helps so much to grow my channel and your support is much, much appreciated. Thank you so much again for watching for your time. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.